When looking at sediment filtration before a tank, there's a few things you need to consider. The first thing is how clean or dirty is your water actually. This is commonly referred to as turbidity, and if you have had a water test done, it, the measurement for that would be NTU. Now, typically, under 0.5 NTU is clean enough to just handle with filters after the tank, and you don't really need to worry about anything before a tank. If, however, you are between about 0.5, and 2 NTU, this is where you start to get visibly dirty water. Say if you take a bathtub, fill it up with water, you'll start to see some discoloring in the water. If that's the case, we recommend a alcohol disc filter, which is a very nice and simple filter. So you simply remove the cartridge and you can just wash it in a bucket. Put all the discs back together, tighten it, put the cartridge back, then um, that should take you back under the 0.5 into you. Um, as an alternative, if you're not looking for something manual, in uh, the vessels we do offer the AFM glass media vessels, which filter down to a similar level. And the nice thing of them is they're available with automatic uh, flushing head, which you can program to automatically clean itself um, daily, weekly, monthly, whatever your specific circumstances require. Then. If it's a little bit more dirty, say if you have between a 2 and a 5 NTU, we say one of these options is definitely a must and probably lean more towards the um, automatically cleaning system just because otherwise every few days you're going to have to go and clean out the disc filter and that can become a bit of a, a frustrating thing to do. Then the next Next thing is, if it is between 5 and 10, you're really starting to get to quite a dirty water. If you're looking in terms of a bathtub, that's the, the, this would typically be when you look at, fill a bathtub, look at it and say, well, I really don't want to bath in this water. It is yellow or brown, and not very pleasant. In that case, either one of these options, either the glass media vessel or the disc filter will simply clog too quickly. So what we would recommend then is in a similar vessel to this, we would add a sand filter, which um, it's similar to a pool sand filter in that you use the same media. The difference is where pool, pool sand filter is short and fat, you been designed for very high flow. You, um, you, the vessel like this is a, a very thin and very long. So what you have is you have a much longer contact time with the media and you end up catching a lot finer particles than you would in, say, a full sand filter, um, simply because it, you have much, much more of a chance for it to go and get trapped somewhere. So what we would recommend then is you place that first, and after that you would place a finer filter, such as either a disc filter or a glass media vessel. And at, at that point, you should have, a, again, after the, the two filters, have a fairly clean water going into the tank. If, however, it's over its ability of 10, over 10 NTU, or if you look at the water and you're basically getting really, really muddy water, we would recommend contacting us for something custom, because uh, then you get into a situation where any of these filters will simply clog too quickly to be practical. There are other systems available in the market, but um, we're not going to cover them in this video now. But that this should be a good guide of what you need before your tank.